Hi, this is Tori Wheelt with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here at Arm Tech Con in Santa Clara, California, and I've got James Allen with me here today. Hi, James. Hi, nice to see you again. Nice to see you. I was in Brazil last time. <laughs> yeah, I've got it. And we're off there again, yep. right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, so you're with uh, Global Business Development Java, correct? Yes. yes. So um, tell me, we've got this fabulous booth here. Tell me what we're looking at. Tell me what's going on in the, the Java embedded space. Sure. I mean, you would wonder why, a lot of people wonder why Oracle would be at a conference like ARM TechCon, uh, where we make enterprise software and the servers. Well, because of Java technology. Java technology is now being developed in a way that it will fit into small uh, embedded devices. And we've got this huge revolution in IT called machine-to-machine -machine communications, which also leads to the Internet of Things. Well, this is an opportunity for Oracle and our partners to really build solutions that connect things from small devices on the edge of the network to put intelligence in them, but to connect those all the way back to the edge, uh, back to the other end at the data center. So we have a number of solutions here today showing Java platform being run in these embedded devices. Okay, cool. So we're in the MDM space, and I want to see some cool things. What do you have here to show yeah, us? Let me start with this here. So, uh, this the centerpiece of our pod, we call it Why Java for Embedded Solutions. You see a lot of uh, demo demonstrations we have with lights blinking and stuff, but we really want to talk about well, you can do this with a lot of technologies, but what is the advantage of doing it with Java? So, in this era, we speak to the flexibility of Java cross-platform, the ability to write an application once and easily port it many times to different devices. We also speak to the, how even within a single architecture family from a processor, if you rev a processor from one version to the next, how you can actually take that application. It's easier to move an application from one version processor to another using Java technology. Right, so if you separate the hardware from the software, it gets yes. easier. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, abstraction will help ease time to market and also reduce the development costs for people building products that are embedded but need an application platform. Wow, very cool. So if I'm a Java developer and I'm looking all, at all this, tell, tell me what the big message yeah, is. The big message is that Java works with a embedded and that it can run on ARM-based processors. So everything we hear today have on the show uh, in the booth is based on ARM technology. And we even have our specific commercial products from our partner Freescale, who actually happens to be on the other side of this wall. But we're showing technology running on Freescale platforms on ARM. We're also showing them on uh, these developer platforms that are kind of out there, that there's a lot of excitement around, like Raspberry Pi and the BeagleBoard. So we've actually got two of our newest Java em embedded products uh, platforms running on these two uh, devices. Uh, Java Embedded Suite, which was released earlier this month. Java Embedded Suite is basically middleware for, for gateway type devices, for instance. Okay. Right? So we show it running uh, solutions like Smart Home and Smart Energy, for instance, where you might have a home gateway. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, solutions that are built on our new product called Java ME Embedded, which is really targeting uh, smaller car, uh, ARM platforms like Cortex, in particular maybe Cortex M3 even, as small as that. And for that, we actually have a partner uh, solution in the other area over here. We're working with Qualcomm with a new product for our wireless module, M2M -M wireless module, that employs that technology. And my colleague, uh, Kevin Smith, is here today, and he can tell you more about that. Great, we'll talk to him in a minute, but this is pretty exciting. I mean, it just seems, okay, tell me what some of the, we've got yeah. things that me monitor people's health, yeah, right? This, this is an integrated platform that makes it easier for us to deploy the demo, but it's a single board. It's almost like a motherboard of devices, when <laughs> you think about it that way. We've got devices, different various devices from Freescale, from Boundary Devices, uh, from a company called SI14, but this is a platform for us to show that you can build various types of industry solutions from smart, smart grid, smart energy, home healthcare, mobile health, to industrial control, all using the Java platform. In this case, we're showing it using Java SE embedded. It's a little bit bigger than ME, but <coughs> with ME, SE embedded, it's possible to deploy M2M -M solutions, and in this case, we're actually showing it on a bunch of Freescale devices, i.mx class devices, uh, and for M2M -M industrial automation and healthcare. And then over here is something really interesting with a partner we have called Kinetics. They have used Java SE embedded as a technology to build this 
device here. It's a device that actually measures liquor pours. So if you are a bar and you <laughs> sell liquor, it's a way to keep track of how much liquor was poured, what kind, and this way you can monitor if people are actually stealing liquor, <laughs> drinking right, it on the right. side, right? Which none of us would ever consider would doing. Never do right, that, especially right. you and I, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, however, when I talked about end-to-end -end device to data center earlier, this is an example of how you can use Java from device to data center. The devices are these these poor 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 measurers, right? right? They are connected to Java Gateway, and when you take that data, this is like almost big data. Right. That data can flow <laughs> with the liquor. It flows to a backend system built on Java EE, for instance. Right. 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 In a database, you can then manage the inventory and hmm. take historical data of what what products you have sold, how much lick how much liquor of of each type, right? So it's really a truly an end-to-end -end system where that back-end system could be on-premise or in the cloud. So we're showing now for the first time end-to-end -end device to data solutions using Java enabled, not just with Java, but with Oracle platforms. Right, very cool. And if I'm a Java developer, I'm totally excited by it about this, right? Because yeah. this is only limited by my imagination. Yeah. Because we have devices that are so small, and now they're all talking to each other. So there really doesn't have to be any human intervention. There's a lot of things that can be done, and ways that we can really improve lives of people all over the world, yeah. right? With the, the green movement and needing to be smarter about our resources, Java is helping to enable that. Wow, uh, very and cool. And I'll leave you with this. If you're okay. a Java developer, you know, the world of embedded is very different. Java developers traditionally have been enterprise Java developers, right? What do they do? JSP, servlet, Java EE. Right. How do I hell do I write a midlet? Do I need to learn how to do that to do an embedded application? With this new product called Java Embedded Suite, you don't. You can use Java EE skills to create applications to go into embedded devices like home gateways. Because it's basically a Java EE server with a Java database XML web services, RESTful web services, into a software stack, totally integrated. So you're able to be actually use the existing enterprise job development skills to create embedded end-to-end -end solutions. Wow, that's very cool. So I can leverage my existing skills and then go out and be a part of this exciting edge play or whatever yeah. they're talking about, you right? You can be part, part of the Internet of Things. Excellent, yeah. MTM and all that. So, yeah. James, I really appreciate it. Thank you for taking time to talk to right. us. Thanks, Tori. All See right. you again. All right, this is Tori from the Oracle Technology yeah. Network. You can always get more information about Java ME and Java Embedded at Oracle Technology Network slash Java.